I'm now getting the crankshaft ready for going off for balancing. Before I can send it off, I need to fit the parts on the end of it. This has been machined because originally on the four litre crank there's a step on here, but this has been now machined down to the correct size for the gear. And onto there we'll fit this gear here, which has got a radius edge on the inside to go on the radius on the crank, followed by this spacer and then a clip to hold it in place. The clips are available in four different colour coded sizes. I'll be checking which one fits best once the gear and the spacer are on. Before they go on, I need to fit this Woodruff key. I've measured the key. Um, it comes out at 7.986 millimetres and I've measured the hole as well and it's within um, a ten thousandth or so of, a, of an inch of being the same size. So that should be a, a good fit in the hole without um, needing too much force to go in. Once it's in the slot, I need to make sure it sticks up by no more than 2.64 millimetres because that's the height of the slot on the gear and also on the spacer. They're basically the same size. And then the gear will fit on. Now I've measured the gear up. It's 41.962 millimetres across the inside and the shaft measured across here is 41.992. So there's 0 0.03 millimetres interference on it. Now when steel is heated up, it expands at a rate of around about 0.001% per degree C, and it needs to expand by 0.07% to fit. So I need to heat it up by at least 70 degrees. If I heat it by 70 degrees C above the temperature of the crankshaft, then it'll be the same size. So I'm going to heat it up to about 150 degrees C so that it should slot on nicely. So I'm going to put these two in the oven. So clips don't go in, Woodruff key doesn't go in. And whilst they're heating up, I'm going to get the key fitted and check the size for it. The gear and the spacer have been in the oven at 150 degrees. So I'm now just going to quickly drop them in place before they cool down. They slide on very easily. This collar will obviously cool down more quickly. There, that's those two both in place. And now when that cools down enough, I shall be able to measure, check the circuit, see which ones fit the best. These are the four different circlips available from 2.1 through to 2.4 millimetres. So this is the 2.3. Try this one here. It won't, it won't go in. That one won't quite fit. Try the next size down, 2.2. That fits in around there. Also around here. So that basically fits in all the way around, so it's all nice and nice and square and straight. So that's what I'm going to go with. And to fit it, I've got these pliers which have serrated teeth on them to grip it, so I'll be able to grip that in the pliers and push it over the end. Here are the two gears ready to go in the oven. They're an interference fit on the shaft, so they're going to be heated up to about 150 degrees C before I try to put them on. And at the same time, I've put the shaft in the freezer, so the, the shaft should be well below room temperature when I try to fit these. The shaft is now ready, so I'm just going to very quickly drop the gears on. <clears throat> just have to line it up, push it on, Make sure it's firmly down and quickly turn it over and do the other side. The shaft has been in the freezer, so the shaft is down to about minus 20 degrees. And the gears should be around about 150. There, that's those two both done. Before I put the two circlips on, which hold the gears in place, just as a security feature. I'm just going to fit these two circlips. This is the outer one which goes on here, on this ring here. And then we've got this um, spacer which goes in the other end of the shaft along with this circlip. 
This one needs pushing in, this one needs pulling out, so I've got two different pairs of pliers just to fit them.